World leaders are gathering at the U.N. today, where climate change is also the big topic ahead of the General Assembly meeting. Yahoo Finance's Akiko Fujita is live here in New York City over on the east side. Akiko. Good morning to you. That's right. Well, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has made it very clear that this Climate Action Summit is not about these grand speeches that we've heard before, but about concrete, actionable plans. Uh, we are expecting uh, roughly 50 leaders to speak here uh, today. Uh, but the U.S. will notably, noticeably be missing uh, yet again for the second year in a row. President Tr Trump opting to uh, skip the summit uh, in exchange going for a separate rally for a global call to protect religious freedom. Now, let's talk about uh, what exactly these leaders are gathering for. Uh, the U.N. has set out specific goals on reducing greenhouse gas emissions, 45 percent reduction over the next decade and reaching carbon neutral status by uh, 2050. But uh, the UN's inability to, to bring the U.S. as well as some of the other uh, big greenhouse gas emitters to the table here has raised questions about just how effective they can be on that front. We should point out President Trump uh, will be here and will be meeting with other world leaders. A number of bilaterals scheduled for today, including with the leaders of Pakistan, Poland, New Zealand, Singapore, Egypt, as well as South Korea. Nikiko, uh, China and India are really taking the spotlight here. Uh, no question about that. Um, China, as well as India, expected to speak at this climate summit. But let's talk about what this all means uh, for business leaders as well, because the private sector is represented here. And on that front, we've gotten a number of reports that have suggested the economic toll climate, the climate crisis could take overall. Uh, the National uh, Bureau of Economic Research releasing a study earlier this year uh, talking about uh, persistent increase in global temperatures having an impact of roughly 7.22 percent of GDP by 2100. Uh, we should note there is a coalition of roughly 20 companies that have launched a new initiative today. Uh, this is led by the leaders of Danon as well as L'Oreal and Google talking about this need for biodiversity, uh, this increasing uh, need to diversify the sources these companies pull from, given the impact this could have on the environment. So there is the private sector represented here, uh, some companies at least uh, putting forward some initiatives. But um, the big chatter here at the Climate Action Summit will be about the absence of the U.S. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.